I'm going to go to Twitter. I think we've got nine more minutes left before we wrap this up. I don't know what Twitter is. I heard of something called Ads. Yes, it's, it's this guy bought it. He's, <laughs> a, uh, he's struggling financially, so if you want to help him out, it's there's this guy <laughs> named Elon Musk who uh, maybe needs it. We need to start a GoFundMe for Elon because he needs some finances help. Anyways, so Hope, Twitter. I, I had heard he was pro-vax, okay, and lockdowns, particularly in Iowa. This could be a rumor that people are talking about. I don't know anyone who lives there to ask, but I want to know what lessons he learned from the pandemic and would he do anything differently if he were to go back? I think one of the yep. ones you can just address what she's saying, yeah, but more importantly, there's this conversation about another pandemic that's going to come up. How will you handle it that's if another one comes relevant, up? That's actually what's relevant, right? Go for it. So, the first thing I'll say is I've always been against vaccine mandates of any kind. This is actually very personal to my experience with the FDA. You think about the hypocrisy of this. Nothing gets under my skin more than the FDA saying, you can't even have the right to try a medicine that hasn't been through 10 years of testing. You don't have that choice because it's not even safe enough for you to be able to determine for yourself whether you take it. That same FDA gets in a vaccine through less than nine months that you have no choice but not to take. Think about that. You, you can't believe both of those things at the same time. So I've always been dead set against mandates. I'm also an evangelist for right to try, that if you want with your own information to make a personal medical decision for yourself and you want to try something, even if it's experimental, you should be able to. And even if something the government tells you is fully approved, you should never be mandated on you. Because if you have to mandate it, that means you don't believe in your own value proposition. So I've always been against mandates, and, and that's, you Did know. you take the vaccine yourself? But, but here's the thing I would do differently. I did take the vaccine based on the facts available at did the time. Did you take the boosters as well or no? I took two shots okay. of the vaccine. Got it. And if I were to do it again, I would not do it. Okay. Because based on the information we had at that time, look, I needed to travel. I needed to go places, right? We have places to be. You literally could not travel in this country. So as a matter of convenience, I needed to get around, go to places, get on with my life. That's what we had to do in the circumstances we lived in. But even still, if I were to do it again, what we now know with the myocarditis risks and otherwise, I wouldn't have done it. And I just think it's important to be honest. There's other Republican candidates in this race, you know, literally, you know, who have said they won't tell you whether they took the second shot. Come on, if you're not gonna tell you whether you took the second shot, you're not ready to sit across the table from Xi Jinping. But I'm honest about the fact that on the same facts Respect. today, I wouldn't have done it. Respect. So if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.